Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week: beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. It's been a little hectic lately because of the way things are going. But if any of those things interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so today I have for you guys a Shop My Stash Get Ready With Me. So let's go ahead and get into picking out some makeup to use and then we'll sit back down and we'll start putting on the makeup. I'm just gonna pick out a couple of things I don't usually pick out. So we're gonna pick out this Catrice one because like, even though there's a like a lot gone, I really don't use it that much. And then you guys know I always have to pull this out every time I do my makeup. So. And then for primers, um, pull out this Becca one. This is a brightening and blur, so I do need something for blind. And then we are gonna go ahead and pull out this Illa Mask, right? That's how it's pronounced. Illa Mask Hydravel Primer. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So for foundation, I think I'm going to pull out my ABH one, but I know that it is, like you can't tell on camera, but it is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to mix in just a little bit of this Born to Glow because this is way too light for me. And then a concealer that I haven't used in a while. Uh, let's take it old school and let's use our liquid camouflage concealer. You guys can see almost gone like I'm right there at finishing it up so for bronzers I mean not like I have a lot of choices for bronzers so let's just go ahead and take this one even though I just replenished it for setting the powders you know what? we haven't used our Becca one in a while we'll use our Becca powder for blush I've only used this once since I've gotten it, so we'll go ahead and use that. And then on top of that, we'll use this Essence Satin Coral Blush. And for highlights, let's go ahead and pull this baby back out, this Revolution palette. Okay, now this is the fun part. Let's see what eyeshadow palette I haven't used in a while. I think what I wanna pull out is, I haven't used my Tati Beauty palette that much, but I also haven't used this palette on camera a lot. The Emily Edits palette, the wants. So, I see that eyelash on the floor. I don't know where the other one's at. Oh, look, there it is, right there. So, I need to pick that one up. Okay, so these are the um, colors in here. Maybe I could create something kind of like pinky and springy or purpley and springy. I don't know, who knows? We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette that my mommy got me during the blessings months. And then what I wanna do is, I'm gonna, not that one. I wanna take this because I use it on one of mine and Brian's date nights and it was actually really pretty. So I wanna use this for like the inner, Part of my eyelid and like the inner corner, I think that'd be really pretty. And now for brow. Okay, so I haven't used my Milani pomade in a really long time. It's actually really, really light, but we can make it work. We will go in with. I think this needs to be sharpened. Yeah, definitely needs to be sharpened. But I haven't used this believe used this believe beauty pencil in a while, and it's actually a little bit too dark. So that pomade might actually balance it out. And then I haven't used my putty primer in a while on camera, so I'll use that. And then we will use our Elf Wow Brow. I was watching um I was watching. Um, Raquel's channel and she called it a bra brow wow and I was like well it is a brow wow but it, <laughs> she's like it's actually wow brow and I was like oh it is wow brow but I always call it brow wow but I'll, I'll link her channel down below because she is so funny and for lashes honestly you guys a style that I haven't used like in a really long time are these lashes that I found at TJ Maxx I'm so sad but they're these glam wispies. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and use those. And I don't switch up my glue. It's no. this one all day, every day, so yeah. And then mascara. What mascara don't I ever use? 
You know what? I actually haven't really just tried this one out, so we'll just go ahead and try out this triple shot mascara. And then scissors to trim our lashes. And lippy. I don't know. I don't know what kind of lip, what kind of look I'm going to do. So maybe we can pull out a lippy after. Or I can just pick out a few colors. So we'll go ahead and do something um, more nude, more brown, and more pink. So I'm going to pull out these three right here. They're all LA Girl. So this is like brown, pink, and then definitely more nude. And then we'll do the same thing with our lips. So. We'll do a super nude, um, something a little more brown, and then something a little more pink. And we will just see where to go from there. Okay, you guys. So as you've seen, let's go ahead and start priming our face. So obviously the first thing that I'm going to go in with is the Hydroville Primer by this brand. I never know how to pronounce it. So yeah, it comes with a little spoolie, a spoolie, a little spatula. And I'm gonna try to keep stuff out of the frame, like brushes and stuff, because the last time when I was editing, like that really, really bothered me. So believe me, if that was bothering you the entire time you're watching my video, you were not alone. So we're just gonna go ahead and get, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into this. Go ahead, and that's just what the primer it looks like. It literally looks like Jello or something. And you don't need a lot of it, honestly. Okay, so now that we have that in and it sets in pretty fast and it does have like a really tacky feeling, I got that in one of my Ipsy boxes. Excuse me, I'm spitting everywhere. So the next thing I'm gonna go in is with this Becca Skin Love uh, Brighten and Blur Primer. This is something my mama got me. But we're gonna go ahead and put this fill in our pores with this. I don't wanna put it all over my face. And then, yeah. My skin is absorbing everything super fast today and I'm not sure why. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our Catrice Prime and Fime Multi-Talent Fixing Spray and it just looks like this. I have the... This reminds me of a cleaning spray, like the way it smells. My fan's way too far back there. Okay, so now, as always, you guys, we are just gonna go ahead and get into our brows. I'm going in with the Believe Beauty brow defining pencil and i have mine in the shade ash brown for ash brown this is really dark because when i think of ash brown i think of something like this and this is actually soft brown which to me is actually taupe or blonde but we are just gonna go ahead and get into it and this brow pencil is really really creamy so it's definitely not something like if you want to be precise okay so we are just going to go ahead and i'm going to go in and just outline with this this is a brow pencil that you have to sharpen so i don't like that either because as soon as you go to sharpen this like it just keeps breaking and breaking so you waste a lot of product to me this is definitely just like a pomade in pencil form like that's how creamy it is and I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it does get the job done and it's only five, four or five bucks. Definitely have to be like super careful with this, like I told you guys. So for now, that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna brush this up just a little bit. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and take our Profusion Angled Eyebrow Brush and we're gonna go in with our Milani Brow Pomade and like I said, I have mine in the shade soft brown and this is their stay put brow color guys look at this so funny story at the beginning of this not the beginning of this year but around like august fall time last year my boys got into my makeup and they threw this all over my car like not through this but they like dipped their fingers in it and rubbed it all into my carpet and i was like oh you know it was just one of the mom moments where you really just want to like throw in the towel and like give up on life because we we're renting so it's just like everything's on us so if we needed to get the carpet clean that's on us if anything like that so if we left the stains and they had to get the carpet clean like that's on us but i had this method stain remover and it's for clothes but i was like you know what like i i'm just gonna try it 
and I did it and it all came out. Like it literally looked like I had poop streaks on my carpet, but it's all out now. It took liquid lipstick out of my carpet, off of my shirt, off, off of my shirt, off of Bryson's clothes. Like that stain remover is the bomb.com. always do my brows ginormous. I have no idea what I have in the dryer right now, but it is knocking, knocking. So if you hear a lot of noises, it's getting hot outside, so you might hear my AC come on. I got laundry going, my kids are here. <sighs> Y'all just pray for me. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go in with, which is something that I also haven't really played with in a while, and that is going to be my e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. And with the brush, this isn't the best. Like you, de that's funny. My air, my air conditioner just kicked on, so now you can hear it. But anyways, with the brush, this doesn't work the best. You definitely need to use your fingers just to try to warm it up and make it a little bit more creamy. And then you're just gonna go in and apply it on your eyelids. That is one trick that I have learned for playing with this is that it works best when you apply it with your finger. And I think uh, my friend Raquel, she has a channel, and I'll link it down below. I don't know if she has it up yet. I can't remember if I watched it or not, but she does have a video comparing this primer to the P. Louise one. So if it's up, I will link that video and her channel. If it's not, her channel will be um, linked below and then you can just subscribe to her channel and then check it out once it goes up. Just keep a lookout for that video. So it does, and I will admit that it can make your eyelids look a little bit textured, but don't let that scare you away because as you apply your eyeshadow, that textured look does kind of just go away. And I'm trying real hard, you guys, not to slam stuff on my table because I had to move where I had my mic before I had it above my camera, but the little fuzzies kept getting like in the view of the camera. So now I put my mic on a tripod and now it's sitting on my table. So if you hear some things slam, I'm really sorry, um, but I'm trying really hard to be really quiet. So now we're going to go in with the Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edits, the Wants palette. And I don't think I've really played with this at all on my channel. So, sorry. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade right here and it's called the Cream. And we are just gonna go ahead and start start up, uh, just setting down all that eyeshadow primer with that. And this eyeshadow palette does come with a huge mirror and it's like a really good quality mirror. Okay, so even though I have on pink and orange tie-dye shirt, I really, really, really wanna do like purpley vibes. But for our transition shade, for our transition shade, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Prayer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start buffing that into my crease. And I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe M518 brush. This comes off really, really, I don't know. I feel like in ev from every angle, it looks like it's a different color. What have you guys been up to? How do you guys feel about everything opening up on May 1st? Like. What are your thoughts? Are you gonna be going out? Like, what are your thoughts? Like, let me know. What are you guys thinking? I'm gonna go in with this lavish tapered blending brush. I'm going to take the shade Family right here. It's this purple shade. Whoa. I'm gonna go in very lightly with that because I don't want it. I don't want it to be too deep. So very, very lightly tapping off the excess. Just lightly applying that. Kind of go in a little heavy handed because as soon as you start blending, it blends away just a little bit and that's definitely not what we want. But then you also have to be careful like packing it on because then it's hard to blend. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is with this. I don't know. Can you guys even tell that that's purple? I feel like up close I can. 
Just a little bit. Maybe when I add more purples, you'll be able to tell that that's purple. Ooh, trying to get better about my posture. Like I don't always want to, I don't know. I feel like whenever you slouch, like it kind of makes you look bigger than you are. And I feel like whenever you sit up straight, like it kind of slims everything out. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure it's amazing for your back to sit up straight. So that's just, I've really been trying to work on that. Going back in with the shade that we used prayer on, we're gonna tap it, take it just a little bit of prayer and just make sure there's no harsh line right here. Just make sure it all looks blended and there's like a nice like gradients. And I think that that's, it's looking better. You definitely just gotta blend with these and work with these eyeshadows. But I mean, as long as you can get them to do what you want, I never complain. Okay, going back in with family on this eye and we're going to do the exact same thing. It's like once you figure out how to work on work with these, like they're so easy. So like I sh with both shades that I've gone in with, like I've struggled on my right eye. And then by the time I get to my left, like I know how to work with them. So it's like so much easier to do what I'm trying to do. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed that, like I got the, what I was looking for a lot faster on my left eye rather than like struggling like I was with my right. I'm gonna go ahead and go in and cut the crease, you guys. And I went pretty in depth in my last video on how to do that. So I'm not really gonna break it down to you guys right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and cut it and then I will be right back. So that's about as cut as we're gonna get. So what I'm gonna do because that outer edge is so dark, I'm gonna take some of Pizzazz and some of Belle Violet. So these two right here. And I am just gonna apply those to that area. We're gonna see how they look not wet. And if need be, of course we will wet them. So I am mixing those two shades. And I'm just gonna start placing that. Okay, so I'm definitely just gonna take some of Pizzazz by itself and go ahead and apply that. And now just to make it even, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same steps on the other eye, and then I wanna go back in and wet the brush. But we just need the same effect on both eyes first. Same steps. Okay, so now taking only pizzazz, I'm gonna take it and spray my brush. Go ahead and apply that. I'm so sorry guys about the noises. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We're getting there, we're getting there. Gonna take a little bit of family and blend that edge so that way it's not so harsh. The transition, just tap right over that line. And now we're going to flip our brush and go into that Belle Violet shade alone and spray it. And go ahead and apply that to the inner part where we haven't put anything at all. I'm gonna take a little bit just a tiny bit of this high fi shade right here, just to see if I can get purple to get built up. Okay guys, so we are done with, well, with the eyeshadow part. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit of mascara. So we're gonna go ahead and curl what little lashes I do have. Let's curl them. And then I'm going to be taking the Ciate Lundy, wow, Ciate London Triple triple shot double XL mascara and I'm just gonna do a light coat of this. And now we are gonna go ahead and take these Glam Wispy Lashes. And I found this pack at TJ Maxx and I'll have to go back in one of my older videos and see what the brand was. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply these. 
Okay guys, so lashes are on and I really like the way that they look with this look and I think it's only going to come more together as we apply our face products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two foundations that you guys saw me pick out. That's the ABH one in the shade at 330W, which is way too dark and my NYX Born to Glow one in Nude, which is way too light. So I'm gonna take more of the AB, this pump always gets stuck. Like one and a half pumps of the ABH one and then just a little squeeze like that of the next one. Just gonna mix that around on the back of my hand. Still looks really, really orange. Better than what it would be if it was just the ABH by itself, I guess. And we are just going to start blending this out. Eyeshadow is looking better already with foundation only going on. I am going to take just a little bit more because I still have a lot of stuff showing through that I don't want to. So I'm taking only one pump this time of ABH and then just the tiniest amount of Born to Glow. And we're just gonna mix that together. Okay, so now that foundation is on we are going to go ahead and go in with our catrice liquid camouflage concealer excuse me and i have mine in the shade light beige i did some good foundation mixing because that matches me perfectly let's see why wow, we used to be so in love with this concealer let's see because that elf hydrating candle is currently like my favorite concealer not mad at what my skin is looking like right now not mad at all Ooh. Going in with my Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Go ahead and blend out any creasing that formed in that short amount of time. Okay, we're all set. Now for this to be a Hydra Mist setting powder, it can look a little bit powdery sometimes, which is not something that I think of whenever I think of Hydra Mist. We're gonna go ahead and take this bronzing, bronzing brush from Complex Culture. I got this in an Ipsy, and we're gonna go ahead and go in with our Wet n Wild. We're gonna go ahead and go in with this little Wet n Wild Contour Duo. Excuse my nails, y'all. It's like I paint my natural nails, like my real nails, and it like chips and flakes like so fast. I just barely did this Friday, and it's like so terrible. Okay, so now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this Ulta Stay Cheeky Liquid Blush. I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and lightly dab that onto my cheeks. Okay, now I'm going in with Satin Coral and we are just going to apply that on top. I like to do this little trick because having that cream or liquid blush underneath will help the powder blush stick better. And not only that, but once the powder starts to wear off, you always have the cream underneath. For highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two, or these two shades. Yeah, let's mix these two shades and just start applying that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take Prayer right here and I'm gonna go in with that same Morphe brush and we're just gonna start blending that in on our lower lash line. And then I'm going to take 
I'm going to take this Alamod cosmetic brush and it's just flat like that. And I'm actually going to mix family and pie fi and push that up against my lower lashes. I wanna be really precise with this. And then once I've placed it, I just wanna rub it out just a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take this Ace Butte Shadow and this is in the shade French Vanilla. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on my inner corner, just like that. And take it up like on the very inner part of my eye. And now we are just going to go ahead and put some mascara on our bottom lashes. We're using that same one that Ciate London triple shot double xl mascara it's, a, it's like the longest name okay so i got a little add a little bit of glue on this inner lash right here and while i'm gonna do that and then while we wait for it to dry while we wait for that to dry we are gonna go ahead and go in with our lips so i'm gonna take my perfect la girl perfect precision lip liner in the shade sugar and spice and we're gonna go ahead and just start filling lining those and filling them in just a little bit Now this eyelash is starting to lift, but while we're doing that, I'm gonna take a little bit of cafe and do the same thing. And then we're gonna take this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Sunnyside. So now I am gonna go ahead and take this and spray it all over my face and then spray my sponge with my e.l.f. spray. But first, let me clean up my table just, just a little bit, y'all. Cause I got a whole lot of stuff that can actually be put back. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my Prime and Fine spray all over my face. And then I'm gonna take some of this Ulta Beauty or e.l.f. spray. I don't know why I keep calling it Ulta. This e.l.f. spray and spray it on my sponge and then push it into my face. Did not need that much. Did not. Sprayed so much spray that took forever to dry. All right, you guys, but that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you like these type of like shop my stash, get ready with me is like, I can keep on doing that. It's kind of fun to like pick out my makeup with you guys on camera and then just kind of play with it all, especially like trying to use products that I haven't used in a while or that I just don't use often. And so, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I kind of love how everything came out. So like I was telling you guys, the shadows were just a little bit difficult to work with, but it's like, as soon as you figure out how to work with them, like it's, it's like, they're so easy to apply. Like, as you guys could see, like I always struggled on my right eye cause that's the eye that I would do first. And then as soon as I would go in on my left eye, like I had no problems. And so I don't know, I'm loving playing with color. I did pink and now I've done purple. So, what is the next color that you guys would like me to do? I really want to do a yellow and a yellow eyeshadow look. And so that one is definitely coming. Um, as soon as I get the palette in the mail, it's going to be like yellow and orange. And so, yeah, let me know what other colors you guys would want to see. If I have them, I'll definitely try to create something with that. When that other palette comes, it is a more colorful palette. So I'll have like a lot of colors. So yeah, you guys, just let me go ahead and let me go ahead and let me know what you guys want to see. If you have, if you'd like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh, I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. Mwah.